Here we go. I put out a Q&A poll and I got one question. And that is, what was my first camera? I remember when I got my first entry level camera. It was a Canon Rebel SL2. I didn't think it was a good enough camera to start with at the time. But when I look back, it was a perfect camera to start with because it didn't come with too many of the distracting qualities that most cameras have that would have been too much for me to really understand at the time. And I learned what I needed to learn and then I was able to move on to an entirely new system. But the main reason I got this camera was because I liked how the mirror flipped inside. And this was when the Canon M50 was just released. It didn't have a mirror in it. It was, I believe, Canon's first mirrorless camera in, or DSLR style mirrorless camera. I also remember the exact time when I wanted to upgrade this camera to a better camera. It was right after I got the Canon SL2 because that is how fast gear acquisition sets in. But I first wanted to learn how to make money from this camera. I put down an entire paycheck on this camera at the time that I got it, and I wanted to make my money back. So I got into real estate photography. I made my money back in about three months, and it was right around my 20th, maybe 30th real estate shoot that I really started to see the limitations of this camera. Honestly, I was missing one feature that really threw me off, and that was the electronic level. I thought the lack of electronic level was a detriment, and it was pertinent to my growth and speed as a photographer to get a camera that had it. I had to use the bubble level on the tripod. I would turn the nine grid on and make sure the lines are straight. And although the lack of electronic level felt like a detriment, like a major drawback, it actually allowed me to learn how to manually level a real estate photo to the point that I can eye it when a camera is level and use an electronic level as a secondary assist. And although using the bubble level and the nine grid worked, I wanted something that was a little easier to use. I needed a camera that would vastly reduce the amount of time it took me to complete a shoot. And that is when I really knew I wanted to upgrade and I wanted to get a mirrorless camera because at the time I couldn't afford the 5Ds or the 1DX Mark Threes or whatever it was out at the time. All of that aside, I know I was ready to upgrade. I did a ton of research on which camera to get and that was basically within my price range. I wanted a camera that connected well to a mobile app like the Canon cameras does. I wanted a camera that had a flip out screen and some better video capabilities because I also wanted to get into video at the time. The camera that I came across was the Panasonic Lumix G85. And from there, I've upgraded my cameras twice. And right now I'm okay with what I have, but it has taken a ton of trial and error to get here, to get to the point to where I'm okay with the cameras that I have. And all of that is to say that when you know you're ready to upgrade, you know you're ready. I knew I was ready to upgrade, but I knew I needed a certain feature that would help me speed up my workflow, not because of specific features that I really didn't need. I knew my budget and I got what I could afford and a camera that would do the job. A takeaway is to get into it for the right reasons, to get into an upgrade for the right reasons, not because a new camera was released or you see someone else creating with a camera and you wanna create at that level. Creating at a higher level comes with time, patience, in practice. You have to use the camera to understand what you need. And this is coming from the perspective of I already fallen for the trap when I got the GH5 and the Sony A7 III. And just as I would say to anyone I know, here are my mistakes and you can do with them as you will. Learn from them or tell me I'm a fool. But it is also okay to just want a camera just because you want it. Right now, I really want the Sigma FP, the Sigma FPL, the Pocket 6K Pro, the Kinefinity, the A7R5 a red camera, a Leica camera, the Canon C70. I just want to see whether they would fit how I work and shoot. So I want them. Will I be getting them? Who knows? Most likely not. But what camera are you shooting with and are you looking to upgrade to? Thanks for listening while staying awesome. Stay awesome. <laughs>